All right, let's take a look at BookBolt and specifically cloning a page. So here I've got a new project open in BookBolt. I'm just gonna type in the word test. Trim size six by nine, doesn't really matter. Black and white interior, but I'm gonna do 100 pages. That's a lot of pages, right? When I create the project, I'm gonna see now, we've got my book set up here in the middle, and then we have a number of pages on the left-hand side. Now what happens if I want to add one illustration and clone it all the way down into the different pages? So it's actually pretty easy to do if you know where to look. I'm gonna to go to page number one and I'm gonna insert some sort of illustration. So over on the left hand side, you've got a number of different options. I'm gonna to go to file library and we're gonna see we've got a number of pictures here that I've uploaded and I've grabbed them from Pixabay or Unsplash or I've just uploaded them myself. I'm gonna to go to the Pixabay option here at the top and I'm going to pick some sort of a picture here. Maybe I'll pick the doggy and the doggy's gonna sit right there and now I'm going to change him so that he is a little bit less opaque. So it's kind of like a background image. I'm gonna move him down here to the bottom. And we can see here at the top, there's a bunch of effects menus. I'm gonna click on this one that's kind of a fade out, this opacity. I'm gonna move him right down to about 20. And that creates like a background. So now I wanna have every page have that dog picture on it. Okay, so how do I do that? If you click on this page, nothing's really gonna happen. Can it kind of you know, reset zoom, that's about it. But if you go to the left hand side and you go to the page number one and I right click on that page, we're going to see there's an option now to clone this page. I'm gonna click clone this page. Now all my pages come up, all 100 pages, and I can select the odd pages, the even pages, the first half of the book, the second half of the book, or I can also do a custom setting as well. So I'm gonna select all and I'm gonna unselect the cover. So now it's gonna do all the pages except for the cover. I'm gonna click clone. It's gonna say the content of the selected pages will be replaced, I'll click okay. And we'll see now on the left hand side, every page has little doggy in there. That's a really nice feature. So what happens if you change your mind? Well, I'll go back now to page number one. I'll simply click on the item. I'll delete it. I'm just clicking the delete key. And now when the page is updated, I'm just gonna right click the page, go clone this page. And it's going to say, okay, what do I wanna clone? I'm gonna clone this zero, you know, page one, which is, has nothing on it. Select all, unselect the cover, select clone. It's gonna say replaced, the action cannot be undone. And now it's gonna clear everything out. You'll see all my pages on the left-hand side are completely blank. Now you may have seen lined paper in the books and there's lots of different types of lines. So I'm gonna go here to the left-hand side and I'm gonna hover over this little maze, it's called page templates. When I click on it, there's options now to do ruled paper, graph paper, lots of different templates. And I wanna show you a really cool thing here you can do is I'm gonna pick the ruled with field, for example, I'm gonna click that. And then I have three sub options. I'm gonna do wide ruled with field, I'm gonna click that. And it's going to immediately go to that cloning page that we saw before, but we get to just select how many pages we want. So I could select every third page, for example, or I could select every, you know, whatever pages I want. I don't need to do every odd or every even. So I'm just gonna do these, page one, page two, and page four, let's say. I'll go to next. It's gonna ask me for the margins. I'm just gonna leave them as the default and I'll click submit. And we can see now, not every page is gonna show up with the lines. Page one is showing up, page two, Page four, you'll notice page three has nothing there. So you've got the option when you go into these page templates, you can select different templates. So here I'm gonna select ruled and graph, for example. I'll do wide ruled and graphed. And now I can go in and I can select that for page three and page five, for example. I'll select next, submit, and we can see now my book is very quickly becoming built. Page one is the ruled paper, page two is the ruled paper, and page three is the, is the graph paper. So how cool is that? You can very quickly stick different items into your book just by using the clone feature or applying it to whatever pages you would like. I hope you found that helpful. I'm gonna put a link in the video description below for BookBolt. It's a really, really cool tool and you can create low content books super fast. Look at this, there's mazes, there's all sorts of activities. It, it, the list goes on and on. The link is a affiliate link and that just means that if you click on it and you purchase the subscription, I would receive a small commission. I highly recommend BookBolt. I use BookBolt, I love BookBolt, and I hope you do too. Thanks a lot for watching. And here's another video on how you can supercharge your print on demand, low content book journey using BookBolt.